Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to continue with Daniel Pintado Game Development Studio to help small developers to create their game in the easiest and cheapest way possible, helping to provide you with asset, animation, blueprint, and also my personal help absolutely for free. Also how to get grants from, for example, Epic and Kickstarter or even how to publish your game in different platforms like Steam, Epic, etc. And you will not have to give me credit, commission or anything. So there will be some guidelines to follow for the order or the project to help. You only have to enter to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and in the upper right corner and click in the link. Or in the description of this video you will have the link. At the end of this page, you will have questions and answers already answered by me about the YouTube channel and the project. And I will be updating this page with new and content, so stay tuned. So if you want to help me with this project, you only have to enter in my coffee page and donate the amount you want. Or you can be a member for exclusive content and support. You can also hire me as a freelancer to advance more faster or if you want, I can create a complete game for you. I will be updating this membership with new exclusive content and more stuff. And if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project, or maybe you need help in the tutorial, or the tutorial is not working for you, or you have a request video or something, you can talk with me in the Discord. So thank you for watching, and let's start the tutorial. So today I am here with another uh, request tutorial. I'm sorry to take me so much time to make these tutorials, but I, like everybody know, I am ready create my own video game and also I help you, you guys with your projects and games with my coffee page so I don't really have too much time anymore but I'm really happy that I can help you with your projects and games so let's start the tutorial so today we want to request video like I said so they want to be the how to use a widget with the gamepad and also with the uh, keyboard and depends on what you're using they want to show you um, only the gamepad or only the, the mouse if you're using the keyboard because if you're using the gamepad you don't want to see the mouse cursor in your widget so let's start that one so I want to show you two different ways to do this um, uh, widget because we are using the old school action mapping if you're using Orange 4 or Orange 5 but soon they want to start doing the new uh, input action Sorry for my voice because I really uh, constipate, so I really sick a little bit, so I can. But I want to do the tutorial anyway, so let's do that. So I want to use the new input action. So I want to show you how to use the new input action and also how to use the old action mappings. So you can use whatever you like, but I recommend that you later upgrade if you want to use any project. If you use using ranging for this really matter, so you want to use this one. So let's start the tutorial. So I open this uh, third person template for that. I only change the color of this carpet uh, folder. So for me, it's more easy to go to Blueprint. And also I change the third person name for my own name, DP Character Blueprint. So that's more easy for me to remember. You can put the name you want, or you can use your main uh, Blueprint from your character. So let's do the first thing is go to create a new widget. So first, let's right click, go to user interface. We want to open this one. They're gonna be user widget. And we can call it, I don't know, I'm gonna call it menu widget. But whatever, you can use whatever you like. But for me, it's gonna be uh, menu, menu widget. So let's open this. So we need a few things here. So it's gonna be really easy one. So I want to create a user canvas panel not here it's a top here so then when I want canvas panel so we want to drag this to our level uh, to, to widget so let's create some a uh, few things here so we want to be maybe a blur so that means the background they're gonna be half a little uh, blur when they open it I want to be full screen so I'm gonna be anchor this to the full screen it got this to several 
ground zero. And also you can see have a here a few uh, um, offsets, so we want to pull this out. So zero and zero. So now we have full screen. So we want to add a strain, so how much we want. So let's go for five right now. So I want to be a little blur. I don't want too much. So maybe I want to change this later, but I will let's do it like this. So let's save everything. Okay, so let's put a few buttons here. So let's put, for example, a button. I want to use one in the blur. No, not a blur, in the camera panel, sorry. So we have a here the bottom. So I want to anchor this to the middle. Middle. So let's go to this, go to zero, zero. So we have in the middle. And also we want to be exactly in the center. So it's gonna be alignment 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. Oops, five. So we have exactly in the, in the center. So let's offset this a little bit. So let's go to go more up I think this one no the, the other one so let's go this one so I'm gonna go down to for example like this so I'm gonna put minus 150 so I have my button right here so let's do this button a little more big so let's go like I don't know 500 and maybe the size like I don't know 75 so it's a little big to see right away what button it is so I want to put the C order to one. So that means this is in top of this blur because I don't want to be clicking uh, in the same position. So it's better to have something upside to your um, background. So this button I want to call, I don't know, I want to call it enter. So we have this one and also let's put some kind of text. So inside, oops, inside the bottom. It's not inside. Let's go inside and let's put here, like call it enter. So we have the enter. And maybe we can do it more big, whatever you want. This is only for texting purposes. And also let's change the color to something more cool. I don't know, like, uh, I like blue. So I wanna put some kind of blue stuff but maybe more more like that I don't know I go 0 0.5 so it's not that blue so let's go okay so we have this okay so we have D1 so compile save so let's create another button so we can copy this and du duplicate it so we have it almost in the same place so we want to change the name this to cancel for example, to close the widget, I don't know. I want to change the name also to cancel. And this time I want to be red. Something like, like that. I don't know. So let's go here. So let's go again to the bottom. Let's anchor this. Um, uh, let's move this a little bit. So I want to be this. Or I've always is this button so let's go this to zero and uh, let's go this one to um, I don't know what position we're going in. so let's go to plus so let's go 150 so we have it like that okay so let's compile and save so we have this widget that's really easy widget so let's close this let's compile everything save so let's close one, well, let's leave it the widget. So let's go to the third person character, a blueprint. Let's go to blueprint, third person character. And here in the begin play, we want to add this widget. So from here, I want to drag this. I want to say create a widget. I want to leave it like that. And the name of the widget is my um, the menu. Oops many widgets and also let's promote this to a variable and this name I want to call it um, I want to call it menu uh, widget so we have this also and let's connect this to here and to look, look, uh, look better so let's collapse this 
equal this we get. Uh, I'm gonna call it menu. So I know what it is. Because we can be a lot of widgets. So let's go to menu here. So let's compile and save. Okay. So I forgot to go to menu widget. I want to be in the uh, designer in the canvas panel. I want to be all this stuff to be visible. I want to be collapsed so I can see it. So we can change whatever we want. So and also let's go to the big character. I forgot to add it here. The add to viewport. So from here, add to viewport. But like it's a invisible or collapse, you can see it. So let's go bound save. Let's go play. And now you can see we don't have that widget. It's right there, but it's collapsed. So they don't take space in the in the, in the screen. So that's really cool. So let's do how to open and close using the, the pen or the keyboard or using the gamepad. So let's do the first uh, way to do this. So let's go to input. So let's go to edit, go to project settings, go to input and here let's create a new action mapping. So here let's open this and let's call this open menu. I don't know. You, you can call it like you like it. And uh, we want to use, uh, you can put the here one or you can press here instead, for example, M for the keyboard. And we are here, let's do the gamepad also. We want to use the gamepad, especially right. So that means it's the start button in the uh, edit box. Okay, so let's close this. We don't need any more for now. And let's go to the pen graph and let's create that input here. Right click, go to open menu and from here let's do a variable so let's create a new variable we call this open menu so let's go here let's go get let's do a branch and let's connect this to here so we want to set this in the opposite so let's copy and paste so if it's true I want to be false this is false, I want to be true. Why I'm doing this? Because a lot of people are asking why to use a flip-flop, so they're gonna be one over the other one. But sometimes, for whatever reason, you want to the widget open in different place. For example, let's interact, to, uh, interact with some character, if they open the menu for whatever reason. So we don't want to go, if we press it, go to the A first because maybe they want to open it. If it's already open, you have to click twice to close it. So there's no professional. So that's why it's better to use this way to Boolean. So always check if it's open first. So that means you avoid that issue with double clicking to close something. That's a lot of the game. They have that um, um, rookie mistake. So it's better to avoid that with uh, a Boolean. Or another way if you want but this the more easiest to understand so that's why i use this one okay so let's separate this a little bit and from here we want to go to get menu i want to go set visibility so we want to if it's open we want to go to visible and if it's closed we want to collapse again okay so let's compile save let's go play and let's test it it's not working <laughs> okay something I oh I think I know what it is so let's go to menu widget and I think I press camera panel yes so that's the problem the visibility let's go back where it was because it's not the camera panel we want to check we want to go to menu widget so in here, go to visibility, where it is, oh right here, visibility, so behavior, and let's change this to collapse, my bad, so compound save, so let's do it again, so now if I go play, I go to M, you can open it, now we can close it with the press again, so that's working, so let's do 
uh, also with the gamepad I forgot to take it so let's go to the start button I press again the close so it's working so let's do first the um, keyboard first that is more easy to do it so from here basically if it's open I want to set um, input mode to game EOI so I think this is too close so let's collapse this I want to call this um, open menu so uh, that way we have all the space we want so let's put this in here so they out of the way okay so the widget focus they're gonna be this menu so we can reroute this a little bit so it is not in the way something like this other player controller we want is uh, get player controller so they wanna be like this and also we want to show the mouse so from here show mouse cursor so we want to set it so let's do a reroute here you want to set this to true and also we want to set this to false if we go in the opposite so we want to to false and also we want to get the game mode so set input uh, mode to game only because I don't want to use the UI like that okay so let's compound save and they look good and also when we go inside the menu we want to do something this button so let's go uh, this uh, graph let's delete this tab we don't need it for now so in enter we want to go on click so I want to say something so let's print stream so whoop no print text so print stream I want to set hello that's really cool so let's change the color for see it better so let's go to red red okay so that's gonna be enter so if you want to go clan cell no, no don't don't drag it so let's go to click and cancel we want to do different stuff so we can do this really easy so go to dp karate blueprint and we want to do this stuff so let's go all this stuff include this okay control because we want to go to the game mode so let's copy and go to um, here so here let's paste it here so we want to change this so the open menu is not working because it's not uh, selected so we want to create it if you will want or we can use the reference from the character so the best way to do it is uh, custom in here so let's go to or better still so don't use casting so let's, let's avoid doing casting so let's go to variable and let's create here variable because say player and let's go to DP uh, character blueprint so let's go all your reference so now we have this one so for this reference if we, we drag it we can go to set open menu and we can say this one so that's working the same way but we have a here issue so this one they need to call from somewhere so we don't want to cast it so the best way is go to instant editable say yes yes pull to spawn say yes whoops no privilege so let's compile save so now go to the piece of the blueprint and let's go to the pen graph go to the begin play in here if we uh, refresh this we have a new input so this one they asking for a player if we are the player so we want to say self so that is a way to pass blueprint to another blueprint and stuff so that's really easy you have way casting a lot so that's good so now we have this okay so if we close we're doing this 
Ok, let's test it out. Let's go play. Let's play M. I go enter. You can see hello. If I go close, cancel, I can close it. So they're perfectly fine. So let's close this. So now let's do the more difficult part. Okay, a lot of people get confused how to use the gamepad. So let's do that. So for doing the um, gamepad, we need to know what key we press it. So we need to go to again, go to um, here, the open menu, and we need to check what key it is. So let's put this in here. So now let's open it and we have this key. So if this one, we want to check if it's equal, so some value we want. So the value I'm looking for is the space, for example. So if I press space bar, that means I use the keyboard. If I don't use the space bars, that means I use it another button for the gamepad. So for that, let's do a branch. So this one, let's drag this use after the uh, input mode. So let's go here. So now let's reroute this. Okay. So now if it is true, I using the space button, space bar, I want to go to set the mouse cursor. If it's not, I don't want to set it because we use it the gamepad. So for the gamepad, they need to know what button they need to be focused. So let's get for the widget. So we have this reference here. So let's drag this and let's get button. Uh, what we call enter. Yes, we want to be start in enter. So if we start enter, we want to set this to focus. So let's set focus. I want to use keyboard focus, we can use whatever you like, but I'm going to use this one. So if they have set uh, keyboard focus, you connect this to here. Now if we compile and save, you go play. If I press the start on the gamepad, my start button does not work. Okay, as I start, we can have the focus right now. Why is it not? Because D is too fast for the view visibility. So you need to have a little delay here to know they can be focused. So to do that, I want to go to false, go to delay. Wow, delay. So you don't need to more than 0.1. So I'm gonna 0.1. So let's connect it with this one. This one, let's go, let's do something like that. We can reroute this if we want to look more professional. Okay, so we have a set focus, uh, set keyboard focus. So let's go pound safe. So now if you could go play, I press the start button. If I move it, you can see. I don't know if you can notice the blue lines in the buttons, but if you want to do this better because they don't really uh, see it too much. We can do it in the widget. So in the widget, we can go to menu widget, go to the graph. Um, in the begin play, they're gonna be begin play. They call it event control by the same. So with this is control, we want to know what they have focus or not. You can do this in the tick node, but I recommend that no use tick node because. Um, they take a lot of resources, so you don't need that fast. So for here, they're gonna be set timer by event, for example. And you want to be doing this fast, but not that fast. So I'm gonna say 0 0.1 is okay. And you need to be looping. So you want to be all the time doing tick, 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 tick. And like a tick note, but more slower. So from here, let's go to an event. And let's call this uh, button. Focus. I don't know, you can call it you like it. So it's gonna be like that. So we need to do um, checking for all the button we want, you have. So it's gonna be enter. And also I want to the cancel. So let's make uh, array, so make array. And you can connect another one. If you don't have it, go to add pins and you can put whatever pin you want. So now we want to check all this array. So they're gonna be for each loop. 
so we want to connect this to here so we want to check if this button so that means this array element that like this one all these buttons has focus so if they have it so has focus so if they have cable focus if they have it so let's do a branch if they have focus i want to set the array element so that means the bottom i want to set the what we want the background color for example of the bottom remember i want to change the color to be i don't know white i don't know you can put the color you want or you can use a picture or whatever that you need to set also to be one but i want to do color because more faster for, for this tutorial and also i want to do this again but this time if it's false i want to be this black I don't know. <laughs> something like that so let's compile save so let's test it out so if i go play yeah you have the start button you can see right away i have focus or not so if i change it to enter i have focus if i go to cancel i have focus so they they change whatever it was so if i go enter i do the opposite so let's go start so i have enter right now so i go back i have cancel i will go up and say press enter when the a button for example i can say hello if i go back i have cancel so if i press it it will close it if i use the m for the keyboard i still have my how my uh, mouse so i can go mouse uh, m to enter the menu so i have enter yeah, i have cancel so that is the way this working so that's working perfectly fine with this old uh, system with the uh, open menu so now I'm going to input action sorry so now let's teach you the same thing we have already created to using uh, not using input actions we are going to use the, the input log applied to so they're going to be this mapping content so let's do that one now so if you use using range from 4 or you're still using input action you already done so you don't know you know how ready how to do this open and close use the menu you want so let's do now the new mapping system okay so for the more advanced so we need to go to the third person map so first you need to recreate this uh, default and also these inputs so if you have the example using the uh, begin play so you need to cast to the controller you have to do this also because it's valid if it's valid you want to be at content so if you have already this one so now we need to create a new input so let's create a new input so we can go to here action so we want to use uh, like jumping because jumping have the same uh, input they're gonna be digital both because you don't want to be a flow you don't want to be a vector or nothing like that on your sample so the easiest way is just duplicate this and we want to call it for example open menu that's really, really easy so let's save it so now we need to go back to the emc default we have for default as they say so let's add new one so we want to look for the new menu so we have the open menu and we want to do a key so let's press here that's gonna be the uh, what, what do we want we want to be uh, m so it's gonna be m for the keyboard so okay so let's go to m so now we want to create another one so here we want to be the keyboard so i'm gonna be this one uh, expect it right i i think i'm thinking about this because i believe i did this wrong in character so if i go to open menu i say here spacebar that is wrong you don't want to be spacebar you want to be m that's my my bad because i always use spacebar i don't know why so this m if you press m <laughs> they're gonna be uh, you have you're using the keyboard if you don't press M, so that means you press special right key for the gatepad. Uh, that's what I think. Okay, so that's my bad. So let's go here again. 
So we create this open menu. So they're gonna be M and here the game pass press your right. Okay. So now we have this. So we only we need to do is go to DP game uh, DP character blueprint. So in here we want to do something different because we don't use this anymore. So we want to go to be the most easiest way to do this. I want to go to right click, go any key. So if I press any key, I want to check what key it is. So from here, I want to promote this to a variable. I want to call it key. That's really okay. So now we want to go to the input we wanted. So they're gonna be like the color here and hands. So they're gonna be hands. So what it is? I'm looking for open menu. So if you put whoops, not that one. No, this one, yeah, oops, my, my bad. So you have this one. So we want to, if they start or trigger, so that I mean you press it, it's gonna be started. So if you press it, we want to go like this. So now we need to know the key. So we can delete this, we don't need any more. So we want to know this key. So from this key, you wanna go like this and connect this to this one. So now we have the key we want to press. That's really easy. So now, if it's M, they're gonna be show the more cursor. If it's not, they're gonna be there's a game bad. So let's check. So let go play. If I press M, we have this hello and cancel. If I press the start button, I have my this one already working. So it's the same thing, but they're working better with the this enhance uh, enhance. I don't know what you say <laughs> uh, in production open menu. So that's the way you want to do uh, later for Unreal Engine 5.2 things like that. Because maybe one day they wanna uh, delete the other system. So you only need to be a uh, have a reference what key you're pressing. If you know what key you're pressing, you want to know what it is. That really does it. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to support me, you can go to my coffee page or you can talk with me if you want in my Discord page. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. So bye bye.